All right, guys, great to have you back here again. I got the MySwing system out. It's doing a full 3D uh, body tracking, 17 sensors on here. So it's a really cool program. And what this does is it captures my swing and I can play it back and look at it from any angle that I want to. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what we call the stable fluid spine in our top speed golf system. So in order to be really consistent with your golf game, we don't want our spine moving around all over the place. I want my spine angle. If you can imagine this club represents my spine angle. At address, I'm gonna be tilted slightly away at, at address, you know, six, eight degrees, somewhere in that range is a pretty good number to be at. At the top of the swing, we measure it from the center of the hips to the top of the sternum. So we're not actually measuring where the sensors are with this system. So if you look at this system, we're looking at a, a sensor at the top center of my back and then one at the top or the middle of my pelvis and it's connecting those two lines and giving us a spine angle. So the numbers will be slightly different. We'll go over that here in a second. But at address, I want that to be tilted away. Six, eight degrees would be great. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm still tilted away six, eight degrees with my spine. As I come into the impact, because I shift my weight to the left, my spine angle is gonna increase slightly. So if you're looking on 2D video, you're gonna see with a driver, a number anywhere from 20 to 25 degrees. Uh, when you look at really top end pros, I uh, took all the major winners since year 2000, measured their spine angle as we talk about in the system, and I think the average is 21.5. So you wanna get that angled away. As you go into shorter clubs, maybe like a pitching wedge, that may get a little bit more vertical. But all in all, my spine angle is slightly tilted away at, at address. As I go to the top, I'm rotating. I'm staying slightly tilted away. As I come into impact, it's tilting away a little bit more than that. Now. Some of you may say, okay, that's great. It's good that good players do this, but why should I care? Why, do, why does that make any sense? Why am I doing this? Well, in the golf swing, if we wanna hit the ball really solid like the best players, we gotta get some lag in the downswing. And then from there, I have to release that lag coming through the ball. So if you look at this club, I'm creating an angle with the club and it's kinda going away from my forearms. Now, as, my, as I release that angle, at some point that club shaft is gonna split my forearms or catch up to that. And I want that to happen in front of the golf ball. That's very important. If I tilt my body away and I release all that lag, I release all this stored up energy in front of the golf ball, the golf ball just gets in the way. My club's still gonna be accelerating through the golf ball. It's gonna be very easy to be consistent. If I was to release everything at the golf ball, now the club is passing my hands. It gets very unstable. And because I'm not accelerating through the golf ball, it, I could hit it really all over the place. I have to rely on all hands and arms to try to manufacture a straight shot. If I release out in front, then I can make that happen. So when I get my spine angle correct, as I come into the downswing, I can let that release out in front very naturally. If I was up here on top of the ball, more like this, leaning to the left, that's gonna give me my over the top move and my cast where I'm gonna be flipping the club. So we've gotta make sure we get that spine angle right throughout the swing. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a swing here. We'll capture it on the my swing system, and then we'll take a look on the 3D uh, picture. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Okay, so now we're back and we're looking at this on the My Swing system. When we're looking from face on, you can see that there's an angle. So let's actually go ahead and look from the top. And you'll see that my spine, or that solid green line, is tilted away. And you'll see a six right here. That's telling me I'm tilted away six degrees at address. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we recommend in the Top Speed Golf system. Now, as I move throughout the swing, we're gonna see at the top of the swing, it's, this will be slightly different than we talk about in the top speed golf system. This will get to about zero. And the reason for that is because it's measuring my the two sensors. When we measure in the top speed golf system, we're trying to look at the overall tilt of the body. So you can still see how from the back of my, my back uh, of upper chest or upper uh, back to the where my left hip would be, that's still slightly angled. So it looks a little bit different on camera than it would on this system but overall it's staying tilted away. So if you have a my swing system, you're looking at it in 3D, it'll get closer to zero. If you're looking at it on video, it's gonna be tilted away a little bit more than that. Then as we go into the downswing, we're gonna see a number that gets closer to 20. Now I'm using a hybrid here, so I may not get all the way to 20 degrees tilted away, but you can see how I'm gonna get pretty close here. Let's actually pause at impact, and you can see I'm 18 degrees. So that's pretty good with a hybrid. 20 to 25 degrees of the driver. As you start to get into a pitching wedge, it's gonna be a little bit more vertical, even though everything's gonna be tilted away. So you can release that club out in front, like I talked about. So at impact, I'm looking at 20 tilted away, and that's kind of going from the center of my hips up into the shirt buttons, if you're looking on camera. So you don't have to have one of these 
to videotape this and to know if you're doing it correctly, just take out your iPhone, your, your video camera, whichever kind you use. We can draw some lines on here like we go over in the system and we can train this just like we could in 3D. It's just a little bit easier to see things in 3D and a great way to train in 3D. So let's go ahead and look at it from the top. You can see that red line is kind of the grid and you can see how my spine is tilted away 18 degrees. And then as I come all the way on through, I'm gonna rotate around that angle. That's not gonna move all that much. So now let's take a look at even when I follow through and we can see that all the way on through that spine angle isn't changing very much well into the release. Then as I finish the swing, it's gonna come all the way on up to my front foot. So from address all the way to the top of my swing, down through impact, you can see the spine angle isn't gonna be changing that much. That's gonna allow you to be consistent and it's gonna allow you to release in front of the golf ball, let the golf ball get in the way. So good luck to you guys. Work hard, stay stable, but fluid throughout the swing. You're gonna have a lot of distance, but you're also gonna be consistent. All right guys, hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got an awesome bonus for you. We all want lots of lag in our golf swing. It's so crucial to have tons of lag to be able to get that high club head speed and to be able to drive it past your friends. I'm gonna play a preview from one of my most important golf lag videos. If you're on a desktop device, you can go ahead and click the link that pops up on your screen. If you're on a phone or a tablet, you go ahead and click the I card and you're gonna get instant access to that video. Plus, you're gonna get instant access to five videos from our top speed golf system. Good luck to you guys. Go out there and rip the ball. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing, I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, look at Tiger Woods. All these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. 